It was the first day of school for 30,000 year-round students in Wake County. One question on parents' minds, will the bus situation improve after months of driver shortages? WRO's Keenan Willard shows us why the district is confident now in staying focused on August when all the students are back. I went to Wake County Public Schools and this was not a problem 30 years ago, so the bus showed up. Allison Hudson has two kids in year-round school at Brassfield Elementary. She says getting her children home from school on the bus over the last calendar year has been a struggle, with drop-off times ranging nearly an hour apart on any given day. We've also had the issue where halfway through the day, we just get a message that the bus isn't running and we need to make other arrangements. Wake School says it's an impact of a nationwide bus driver shortage. In February, the district reported more than 32% of its driver positions were vacant. While it led to disrupted routes during the traditional school year, Wake School says that won't be the case right now. We don't have as much of a problem, obviously, in the summer getting staff to drive for year-round schools. The district says it only runs 175 buses for year-round, compared to nearly 680 in the fall. WRL spoke with multiple Wake parents who said their child's bus came on time for the first day of summer term. We also spoke with kids who were focused on all things new in the classroom. What are you most excited for this oh, year? Oh, um, probably new teachers. Uh, new friends, and I'm in a new hallway. All while some families remain hopeful of their kids getting there on time with a bus they can depend on every day. You know, when that consistently is not the case, it makes it hard for me to plan. Keenan Willard, WRL News. Looking forward to those new hallways. WRL asked the school system what percentage of bus routes arrived on time today and how many routes were normally staffed with drivers. The district told us that they don't track that information every day.